everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to add crop marks to a Microsoft Word document. Microsoft Word is a word processor and not a design program like Photoshop or Illustrator, but there are two ways to get crop marks. So the first way gives us the standard crop mark shape, but it's not very helpful if you have multiple designs on the document like I have today. You need to set up your document to your item size and then add the crop marks. I start with a blank document in my chosen size and I go up to Word, Preferences, View and then Crop Marks. This works best for one item per page. If you plan to save paper and have two or more items on the page, you will need to do this next step. Go to Insert, Text Box, Draw Text Box. On your document, draw a quick square. Then under Shape Format, you will need to change the size. I put in my measurements which are the equivalent to 5 by 7 size but in centimetres. Next I go to Shape Fill and choose No Fill. Then I go to Shape Outline and choose my colour which will be grey. I go back and check the weight which I'm happy with. And lastly under Dashes I choose Even Dashes but you can choose whatever you prefer. So now I have my cutting guidelines. I go back to insert and draw another text box inside the box I have already drawn and I make it a tiny bit smaller. I go back to shape fill and I choose no fill. Then I go to shape outline and choose no outline. In this box I go ahead and enter my text and format with fonts and spacing. You'll see the and is in another text box. That's just because um, of the formatting of the font. It didn't allow me to add the and in between the names and made too much of a space. So to rectify that, I just put that in another text box. I then make a copy of everything by selecting all the layers on my keyboard while holding down the command key. I then click the C key. This is control C if you are using Windows. And then to paste it, I use command V. Um, on a Mac and if you are using Windows you would use Control V. So that's how you add crop marks to a Word document. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.